Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I'm going to let you know the latest update on what's going on with this pattern that we're about to go into. Matter of fact, it is getting even deeper and stronger. Cold air is going to last even longer and a bigger high ridge of heat. Now, we do have a couple of days of severe weather. After that, our severe weather is going to calm down for quite some bit. This big anomaly is bringing in cooler temperatures. It is not a big storm bringing a big havoc to everybody. Remember that this is not a big storm system. And remember, I will be gone tomorrow for the field trip with the children, but I will be right back again on Tuesday because I will have a big tropical update for y'all as well. You can see the latest update on your EPO, East Pacific Oscillation. We're still going at very high ridge bringing all that heat to the west coast and then we're still getting that trough matter of fact that ridge is going to continue to stay all the way until this little hill right here this is going to continue to go this way this little trough that we're seeing right here is still this upper level low that we have over the southwest bringing in a little bit of our subtropical jet and help feeding some storms coming across the south now you can still see this here as everything starts to really build here goes your big high ridge going all the way to the northwest here comes in your big anomaly of colder weather coming on in. And here's your upper level low that's going to be spraying precipitation all in this region. Just like I told you in the last video. And it is hanging around for quite some time. We are going to be in this pattern for a while. Now we'll go through severe weather as well. But you can see right here as we go all the way towards Wednesday afternoon. We actually get an area right here where we do get some more thunderstorms that start to grow up as we get this short wave trough that heads to the north. It don't dig in real deep. So let's go through what the pattern is going to be so you know what to expect as you go for today. Really later this evening and overnight, we're going to get this elongated group of storms that's going to form up all the way from upper Midwest all the way towards the south central overnight. Remember, this is central time over here. Overnight into the early morning. Then for tomorrow, get another little shortwave trough, get a little bit of severe weather that's going to form up a little bit for Wisconsin, also some over here for the south. Then we have that shortwave trough that's going to come from the northwest, bring y'all rainfall and precipitation now. Matter of fact, it's kind of rare. You don't get a month's worth of rainfall in just 48 hours. This is going to move further towards the upper Midwest before we get all this cooler air. So to make sure you have the right information, you can see our severe weather for today, even the enhanced feature. This is for strong winds. And you can see how the short wave trough is starting to raise to the north. Here's your tail whip, even significant severe. All this black is chances for hurricane force winds at least 74 miles per hour wind gusts. You can see right here in the 30% very high winds. This is what I'm showing over here for Nebraska. But here's your cities and states at risk for the high winds for today. You also have a hail threat for today. Even significant severe chances for two inches in diameter in this black section and large hail in this 30%. So here's your cities and states at risk for the hail threat also for today. And you can see your tornado threat. This does not mean that we're going to have widespread tornadoes all the way from Minnesota and North Dakota all the way down towards Texas. That is not true. There's a chance for tornadoes because we have a setup coming right off the Rocky Mountains where you get a lot of lift and there could be a couple of cells that might form up a quick spin up. What I'm seeing is maybe over Kansas and Nebraska is your biggest threat. But here's your cities and states at risk for the chance for a tornado for today. National Weather Service has scattered severe thunderstorms are forecast across much of the Plains region this afternoon and evening, especially across the central plains of Nebraska and northwest Kansas. Very large hail of 2 to 3 inches in diameter, severe gusts of 60 to 80 miles per hour, and a couple of tornadoes are expected. Now you can see for your lower level winds for today that you do have a strong patch of Winds aloft help keeping these thunderstorms growing. It also gives it a little bit of convection. But you can see right here for Nebraska, you get a lot of strong winds forming up right here over Nebraska. And this is giving you a bow in line segment. You see how you got it stronger over here for northwestern Kansas, over here for Nebraska. And as you go through the evening, growing in strength for Nebraska. Then for tomorrow, it's going to consolidate a little bit towards southern Wisconsin with your winds aloft. Bring in more thunderstorms. You even got a 2% chance for tornadoes as you get that short wave trough moving to the north. And you can see that right here when you look at your storm started getting initiated as you go from 8 to 9 o'clock. Then you get that bowing out coming on for Nebraska 
as you get the winds aloft. Now you must warn, you could get a potential cell that could form on the southern side of this. While all this is bowing out, bringing chances for damage and winds, also down here for North Texas, going into Oklahoma, you see how it's just sporadic. You have just a couple patches of storms that is brewing up for this evening that is going to transition to the overnight, early morning hours, then dissipate. Then you get some more storms brewing up over here for southern Wisconsin with those winds aloft. And you get a little bit on the south as well for tomorrow. But showing a lot of chances for winds also. So you get a pocket of 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts for southern Minnesota, even up to 60 over here for Nebraska and Kansas. You can see you have big bandings coming on of 50 to 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Matter of fact, the highest so far is showing over 80 and 90. And that's that bowing out that I showed you is going on for Nebraska later on this evening. Also for the panhandle of Texas, northern Texas going to Oklahoma, chances for 40, 50, even maybe 60 miles per hour wind gusts as these storms come across as well. And you can see that next shortwave trough that's coming in from the northwest bringing y'all the heavy rainfall for Washington and Oregon today. That's also going to start bringing in some winds with that also for Wyoming, Idaho, some of the higher elevations of Washington, Oregon, and Montana. A big area for 50, even up to 60 miles per hour wind gusts. So you can see here for tomorrow, you do have a big marginal area that is not chances for all tornadoes. You have a chance over here in the south central, you 2%. You also have that winds aloft I showed you for northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin. You have a 2% as well. So far, here's your cities at risk. Chances for tornadoes for tomorrow. I believe this could shrink down some. That whole area is covered for chances for light winds. You have a 5% chance for winds for tomorrow. Here's your cities and states at risk. You also have a hail threat for tomorrow in the two areas for the South Central, also over here towards the Great Lakes, a 5%. Here's your cities and states at risk. And National Weather Service only has isolated strong severe thunderstorms are possible from much of the Mississippi Valley into the Ozark Plateau and Southern Plains on Monday. Then after that, you can see that, that short wave trough is coming from northwest, bringing those winds with it also, potentially is bringing some severe weather as we go through Tuesday as those storms come through. Once again, it'll be late night, early in the morning possibility. Then as you go through Wednesday, you got that pocket chance for those thunderstorms like I showed you in the beginning. Still not showing any severe weather coming with those, so don't worry about that troughing. This is going to start bringing some cooler air with that while all that heat still builds for quite some time. But you can see here as you look at everything that's coming through that as we go through Tuesday, there's your thunderstorm growth potential. And as you go through Wednesday, there's your chances for your thunderstorms to grow. Not showing a big area for Wednesday. It's all going to be isolated and scattered. So here you are for Tuesday as that trough comes up towards the upper Midwest. You can see you have a marginal chance for severe weather. You have a 5%. Here's your cities and states at risk. Plus, you can take a look after that with Colorado State University. This is what we have for Tuesday with National Weather Service, low 5%. You can see with Colorado State University. Then as we get that troughing to build in even more, bring in them cooler temperatures. This is not bringing a big storm, everybody. You can see here from National Weather Service, they don't have anything, but look here on Colorado State University. A big downgrade compared to the little 5% that we have on Tuesday. There's not going to be any severity coming with that storm system. As a matter of fact, just like Wednesday, you can see it down here for Thursday also. Still not bringing any severe weather with that storm system. Here it is again, going from Thursday into Friday, even less of a chance. And Friday into Saturday. That storm system is bringing cooler temperatures. This is not a big storm bringing severe weather. Matter of fact, when you look with the Euro going into Tuesday, you can see the chance for the storms to build up over here for the upper Midwest, showing maybe some banning, some frontline storms might kick in. Remember, it's just a 5%. Then as you go into Wednesday, you see how it shows that it goes further overnight. And then as you go into Wednesday, look how it's just scattered in nature for these storms that you're going to be getting. This is not going to be a huge severe weather outbreak coming with that at all. So when you do for comparison, see what's trending. You can see with the GFS showing you do have them storms brewing up over here for Monday. You do have that 5%. But look how it's not further going further towards the south as anything huge and big banding. And then once you go into Wednesday, showing even less. 
Might get a little bit of a severe area somewhere towards the intercoastal northeast. That has been a little bit of a trend as that comes through, but that is about it. It's not going to be no big, huge outbreak. Don't even have bandings coming after that. You can see this from National Weather Service, even getting more extreme, just like I told you in my last video. Next 6 to 10 day temperature probability, well above average temperatures kicking in. You even get an 80 and 90% above average temperatures over for the Northwest. While you get well below average, going to 80 and 90% below average temperatures kicking in for the Great Lakes, Tennessee, and Ohio Valleys. Matter of fact, you can check the 8 to 14 days all the way to the middle of June. We're going to stay in this pattern. A little bit weaker, but it's still strong enough. you got above average temperatures kicking in in all of this red, and below average temperatures is going to continue right here. So starting off for tomorrow for your highs, you will remain nice and cool over here for the northwest. This will continue to propagate towards the east while you get all this heat building for the south central. Now with your heat indices, is still going to feel a lot of warm temperatures in the south central and northern Mexico. Getting over 110, even bringing over 100 degree feels like temperatures towards the DFW and north Texas. Now overnight, you're going to stay in the 60s for the northern half, the 70s for the southern half, of the lower 48 but you're going to have these 40s moving in from the west coast even the higher elevations might even get into the 30s here we go for tuesday now it's still building with all this heat for the south central now it's starting to move over towards the southwest and once again with your heat in season it's going to be miserable here from northern mexico texas and now going into oklahoma but as you go Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, you see the cooler temperatures starting to kick in now. Now it's bringing 50s and low 60s even further. Still showing that Wednesday and Thursday is going to be some of your hottest days. Look at these temperatures. Now Wednesday, now you're getting in over 100 to 105 degrees from northern Mexico going into Texas. Also across the southwest, going from Arizona into California, all the way up towards Redding. 105 degrees or more temperatures coming your way. Now with the heat indices, it's going to remain ugly over here for the south central. Feeling like still over 110, almost 115 down there for southern Texas. Here it is for Thursday, kicking in again, even bringing some cooler temperatures a little bit further to the south. But once again, warming right back up for Thursday. This will be your highs up here for the northern side of the lower 48. But look at all this heat still kicking in all the way towards the southwest. Higher elevations of California really getting it all the way from Sacramento all the way down towards southern California, all the way up towards Redding. Over 105, closer to 110 degree temperatures coming your way. Plus, with the heat indices, now it's starting to spread more. Spreading more in Oklahoma, more in Arkansas and Louisiana. Feels like over 100 to 105 degree temperatures. And then for Friday, coming down even lower. A really cool morn for the northern side, the lower 48, just like I've been screaming here for over a week. And your highs will remain in the 70s, maybe even the high 60s, while the southern half still cooks all the way from the 80s to the 90s and still very hot over the south and the southwest. With your heat in the seas still getting Louisiana, Texas, northern Mexico, going to southern Mississippi now, a little bit of southern Alabama with a lot of warm feels like temperatures. Then here it comes for Saturday again, still bringing potential 60s towards the northern side of the deep south early in the morning, bringing nice, cool temperatures. And still showing by the 11th, maybe even still hanging out, going even further to the south, bringing a lot of 50s now to a lot of people that was cooking. So we have a nice, cool anomaly coming through. No, it is not no big storm system that you need to watch out for. So I do hope this helps you understand what is coming around the corner. I've seen some people ask me about this big storm coming through. Is it in the tropics? Is it coming to lower 48? There is no big storm coming through. Remember, I've been updating this for over a week. You can check my past videos. This is bringing cooler air in and a lot of hot air as well. This is really going to bring a cooking to one side of the country and a cool down to the other one as we begin 
our summer. Now, I do see a pattern coming in the tropics. I will update that on Tuesday morning when I come back from being with the children. That way, you know the latest information on that as well. So if you like a channel with no hype, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click the bell so you get all the notifications. I don't do hype. I just like to warn people as much as possible because safety is the best thing we could preach here. I've been screaming that for years. Now, I'll be back on Tuesday morning to let you know what's going on, especially in our tropics. So hang on for these temperatures, everybody. We're on for a long ride with them. This pattern is going to stick around until the middle of June. And before you go today, some wise words. Proverbs 12, 20 through 23. The lip of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil. But to the counselors of peace is joy. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are his delight. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. Get ready for these temperatures coming through, especially for the extreme heat. Everyone else that's in those cooler temperatures, enjoy it. It's going to be nice weather. It's going to be nice temperatures. It's really going to be a nice transition for a lot of y'all. But everyone else that's not expecting all this heat, they're not really going to enjoy it. You're not going to get a lot of precipitation neither. So get ready for this next pattern coming. Remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe. You and your family in every day of your life <laughs> and forever. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Happy Sunday. Everybody have a great day.